We are coming up quickly on October 8th, so we're moving right along. This is the sixth game in the series. We're talking about Mortal Kombat Deception on the Xbox 360. Three, two, one, let's go. It was not by chance that this struggle came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the Deadly Alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat, Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. <laughs> Raiden fought well against the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. Their victory was short-lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. Chi defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had returned. Fulfilled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Death awaited all who stood in his way. was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies joined forces to combat a greater threat. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. Left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain, for the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. 
Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception. Drop a like for Mortal Kombat Deception and reminiscing on these old Mortal Kombat games. Drop a like for that 30th anniversary and let's continue on. So this is the first time I played this game when I first picked it up and I'm really enjoying it. It has the regular arcade mode in the combat, um, but it also has a bunch of extra features just like in Deadly Alliance. And the style is very similar to Deadly Alliance. So I was able to adapt to this game really quickly since I played Deadly Alliance before this one. But it has chess combat, which is very popular. Um, I'm not a big chess player. I didn't play this game yet. But as you can see, it's basically chess with Mortal Kombat figures. Really cool. I like having the little mini games. Like we talked about before, they should do a game with just a bunch of Mortal Kombat style mini games, which would be really fun. Puzzle combat. This one we will play. This one is kind of like a Tetris game where you're battling against somebody and see who wins, but with Mortal Kombat characters, almost like a uh, puzzle fighter for Street Fighter, but except we got to have that Mortal Kombat twist. So let's take a look at this. We're going to play as Scorpion. This is the first time I played this one, but I heard of it. So let's take a look. We're not going to go through all these. We'll go through one. We'll beat up, uh, we'll beat up Nightwolf here and then, uh, We'll move on to the rest of the features. On this one, so just like Tetris, you're matching up colors. But the different color Mortal Kombat Dragon logos is what actually breaks the blocks. So right there with the yellow and the red, we need to match up um, a green Mortal Kombat logo to break the Mortal Kombat, uh, the green blocks. And then it sends rows over to your opponent. So as you can see, the yellow, boom. Now we drop four blocks. It goes to your opponent and you keep doing that until you fill up the screen just like you would on the Tetris. So far, so good. Look at that. Eight. Oh, we are rolling. Nightwolf, you're not ready for Scorpion, baby. I think the black one is a bomb or something. Yep. Nice. It is not looking good for Nightwolf. Scorpion is handling his business. So far, so good. We're keeping it low. Oh yes, the blue one. 15, take that sucker.
Scorpion wins. Round <laughs> Did you see Scorpion's little dance? That's funny. Oh dang, nine. We're getting built up here. Nightwolf's putting up a fight this round. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you've ever played Puzzle Fighter or if you'd like to play Puzzle Fighter. You want to see them bring it back in a newer game or are you going to bust out the old Deception and play it that way? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm having a blast. This game is really fun. Damn, 29, we might lose. Oh, smokes. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> nice they even do a fatality that's awesome that is a cool little mini game that's really cool i can see why people have been talking about having them bring them back all right let's exit out of here and let's go check out some more of the features on mortal kombat deception So conquest mode is like quest mode. Um, it has it's like a mix between quest mode and kind of like a training to learn the fighters buttons and stuff. Some of the combos are a real pain in the ass, but I like this one because you get to walk around. It's not like the other one where it just kind of you do different things and it kind of moves automatically. This one is like a free roam game and you go around. You can collect uh, little different color coins. There's little side quests too where you could do things to get bunches of coins by finding somebody and talking to them or finding their weapon or whatever uh i finished this one 
So I finished the whole mode with Chijinko. He starts out young, and then by the end of it, he's an old man like you know him in the game. But uh, uh, it's a cool little conquest mode. Not bad. Uh, you had to even, for Shijinko's moves, you had to go around collecting his moves in different areas and different times. So if I didn't have the, if I didn't look him up online, oh my god, I would have never found any of that stuff. You would have been looking forever. Even for the characters and costumes and stuff. But uh, it's a nice little mode. Not bad. I like the newer story modes better. But as you can see, all the realms are unlocked. And then, spoiler alert, but he was actually tricked by Unaga and took all the Kamidogus that he found for himself. And so then he had to go find Quan Chi to get his, um, the medallion that he has from uh, Shinnok. And so that was the end of the story mode. So, dropping the ball, Shizinko. We'll see what, uh... We'll play as him when we start the arcade mode and we'll see if we can unlock his ending and see what happens with his ending. But this one, Character Galley is really cool. Has different bios and stuff. You could take a look at those. Um, I haven't got them all unlocked, but I did get most of them. Some of the stuff is typical things, you know, like arenas and endings, you know, you could go. This is some of the stuff that you unlock in the crypt. So um, that's where you can take a look at that. Same thing with the endings. I think I beat it with five characters so far. Yes, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Ermac, Havoc, and Cabal. I really like uh, Havoc. Kind of weird character, but I like him. Like I said, I, I didn't play this one before, so I knew of characters, but I never actually used them. And so here's another one. This is just stuff that I've unlocked in the crypt and stuff. Nothing crazy. Basic stuff. Now the next one, movies, is really cool because they're like playing cards, but it actually has a little video that goes along with it. We're going to take a look at Scorpions. It's really cool. Yeah, Scorpion's always been my favorite character, and he still is to this day. Fight! Playing Scorpion's cool. I mean, you get to be kind of just a little bit crazy, a little bit nuts. You know, it's like, a, you know, you're a ninja. How cool is that? I played him in Sub-Zero Mythologies. I did some motion capture for Scorpion, and I played him during our, some of our live events for Mortal Kombat. I am Scorpion. You killed me in cold blood. As a player, if I get a chance, I'll, I'll always pick Scorpion. This whole play style, it just kind of suits my, my style of, of gameplay. I'm proud to have been part of the Scorpion legacy uh, throughout the years. The spear move has always been one of my favorite moves in uh, all the Mortal Kombat games, and I don't think we've ever been able to top it. Get over here! How cool is that? I love hearing about little tidbits like that. It's really cool. I haven't watched any of the other ones. I want to watch the Sub-Zero, but if you haven't taken a look at those, you should take a look at those. It's crazy how much stuff that these games, these older games, really had on them. Like this one, photos. It's just photos of the... Uh, People that worked on the game, which is cool. But it also has the soundtrack. It has kind of like a soundtrack. And it talks about the um, songs a little bit. It says uh, who made them. Dan, the guy that you see as Toasty. He's the composer. So it's got that stuff. And last but not least on this section, 
Not only does it have a soundtrack, but it's got a demo. We have a demo to a game called Area 51, and you can play it on, on this game, on this disc. It took a long time to load. It's an old game, so we're going to skip that, and we're going to go right to the crypt. As you can see, it's set up similar to the one for Deadly Alliance. This one, gravestones are a little bit more fancy, not as basic. Uh, the ones that have the keys, you un find the keys inside conquest mode. So I haven't found them all, but I found all the important ones. So let's use those keys right now and see what else we get. Should have all the rest of the characters. I think I'm missing one that I'm gonna have to go back later and do, but. Shizinko fighting moves are also found with the keys, so there's a lot of stuff. So this is something new for Mortal Kombat uh, Deception. It's called a Harakiri. And I guess it's basically you could end the match when you're in the finish him before the person finishes you. I don't want to use the word, but you know what I'm talking about. You basically end it for yourself before they could end you. So I don't know what to think about that. What do you guys think about that? Is it necessary? Is it not necessary? Leave a comment down below. Ah, I could be without it. One thing about Shijinko that I'm uh, kind of torn about is that his moves, he's kind of got moves from everybody. He doesn't have his own moveset. So, I mean, that's cool to a point. But then, you know, why doesn't he have his own moves? That's one thing that uh, not sure how I feel about that. He should just have his own moves. But it is kind of cool that he's got like Sub-Zero's Freeze scorpion spear but i don't have that unlocked yet and then he's got some other moves from other people so he's got like the flaming fist from cobra or something like that but these are all the characters we got so far like i said missing one and i don't know who it is noob smoke is an interesting character now they're a team together so you kind of bounce between both of them it's really weird fighting them but smoke actually is kind of cyber he's cyberized and then noob cybot looks more like ninja smoke than he does ninja noob cybot he's a little grayish and not black but all the characters unlock except for one we're gonna be shajinko and see his ending that way we can see if he redeems himself after dropping the ball in conquest mode Fight! Shooting Cole wins. 
Ultimate's flawless victory. Round two, fight! See what I mean about the Harakiri? That is her ending herself before I have a chance to end myself. I just think it's really weird. It fits Mortal Kombat, but it's just really weird. Round one, fight! <laughs> One thing I was enjoying a lot, and it has its pluses and minuses, is those stage interactive instant death things. They're really cool. Like, this is the Deadpool stage, so you can just hit him into the Deadpool anytime you want. Just like that. And see, done. The match is over. You win. It does, they don't call it a stage fatality, but it's basically a stage fatality before the stage fatalities. But I thought that was a really neat idea. Like I said, pluses and minuses, because they could do the same thing to you. Ooh, cool. Portal Stage and Raiden. I haven't played against Raiden since I unlocked him. So this is the first time I've seen the Portal Stage and Raiden. And of course, you know, he ended my streak.
Round one. Fight! <laughs> After going back and playing these uh, Deadly Alliance and um, Deception, it's like uh, I'm not a big fan of the fighting styles. I do like how they do it now. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you prefer. You prefer the fighting style, how they do now, or do you like the 3D era one where they have the different real fighting styles that you can swap out during the match? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I must say that I prefer the second fatality over the first one, but leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think, which one you like better. Ooh, it's dead Luke Kang time. It's like a mix between a cat and some woman saying, ay, ay, ay. I don't know. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Yeah! <laughs> 
fight! <laughs> Jinko wins. Harakiri. That one was a lot better than Sindel's. But I still think it's unnecessary. Here's going to be a tough one. Noob Smoke. Round one. Fight. Round one, fight! <laughs> Round one. Those stage interactables are so cool. Like I said, this one backfired on me, but it's it's a really cool idea. Round 2 
So what I found working for me on Unaga is doing a little combo and then doing a strong kick afterwards and then going back to the three combo, three hit combo and then doing a strong kick. And I've been able to do that with a few characters and it's been working. So that I would be able to defend myself during the quest to find the Kamidogu, Onaga had given me the power to absorb the fighting ability of any warrior I encountered, but his gift would prove to be his undoing. The warriors in Outworld were in disarray, heroes were not focused on the true threat of Onaga, and villains were unaware that they were bringing about their own destruction by serving him. I united them and in one moment absorbed their combined fighting power. I shattered each of the Kamidogu, the source of his invulnerability. This weakened Onaga, and I attacked him without mercy. His mortal form was no match for a combatant infused with the powers of so many warriors. The Dragon King was finally defeated. The realms will remain as they have since the beginning. There we go. Shujinko got his revenge and was able to handle business. I'm so glad that he was able to do that. Uh, making up for getting all those Kamidogus for um, Unaga by mistake. So I was glad to see that he got his revenge and was able to take care of business and using his own power that Onaga gave him against him. So I thought that was really cool. On that note, we are going to wrap up this video Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I know there's other places you can go, but I appreciate you joining me, reminiscing on this game, or checking it out for the first time. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of Mortal Kombat Deception. Was this your first time checking it out, or did you play it as a kid and it brought back some cool memories? Let me know what you think of puzzle combat, chess combat, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content. Stay safe out there. And I will catch you on the next one. Game on, baby.